Don't go too wide because then you're just filing away metal and wasting loads. But you want it just a bit wider than the widest part of the stone because it, after setting, it doesn't just set over the ends. You want it ideally to go around the corner just ever so slightly so the stone is secure. Cut into it, just being careful not to hit the ends too much, but just getting the bottom nice and straight, nice and flat. If you want it in a bit wider, like uh, the tri square ones or three sided ones, have a bit more width to them. You've got to be careful with these discs here, yeah, because if you haven't practiced much with them, you can accidentally cut things at wrong angle. So there's that first bit of curve. Then I leave a little section kind of flat and then tighten up the curve again. So now, after cutting that bit off, I'm able to close it up a bit more like a circle. Ta da! Paste them on there to have a look at it. I think that ruins the effect of it looking like a exclamation mark. We need a little bit of a space in between them. So we're going to be going to be a little pip there. Something has to be strong. Let's go take the height down a bit off this bit of metal. So uh, this is why I wanted this on first, so I can just sort of hold that and just decide how it, how I think it looks best. I think it worked. After it's set and then the, all the edges and stuff are all polished, then I'm going to stain black that little dividing section. Hopefully it's sort of hidden quite nicely and then it looks like a little exclamation mark. Even though it's only a jump ring, it's really important you close it up really nicely. I, I close them up and then I check them with my loop sometimes. Just make sure they're properly tight and lined up really nicely. Lovely. Okay, so there it is, all its glory. All my solder joins are a little bit blobby, not super neat, so I'm just touching them with the uh, rubber wheel. It's so close. I'm just gonna push it. <laughs> you hear a crunch. Oh, see that? Stone didn't break, stone didn't break. <laughs> Neaten up the metal around the outside and get it going over the top of the stone nicely. These are pretty good because they're, they're very accurate. You can really polish, like right in little crevices, like getting like a specific solder joint nicely polished. Ta da! <gasps> wow! Exclamation! One last thing I want to do, I want to create the illusion of them being separate a bit more. I'm going to black out that tiny little divider piece. Little exclamation mark. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm.